Method syntax is another important tool in Rust which helps you in organizing your code. So these are similar to functions in some way in that we declare the methods using the fn keywords same as functions followed by the name and it can also have parameters similar to functions and these also return values but there are some differences from the functions in that it's defined within the context of a struct so functions you can define generic function f1 and you can uh, keep its argument one of its argument as a struct or you can keep some general argument but these uh, methods are always defined within the con context of a struct or an enum or a trait object which we, we will see later and another important difference is that the first parameter here is always self and then followed by other parameters and uh, the way to call is that we create an instance of let's say a struct rectangle that we saw in the last example so there is a rectangle rect then we will call instance name followed by the method name and this way of calling the methods is called method syntax so let's see an example then it will be more clear so this is a struct it's similar to our last example and uh, in the last video we had defined a function like area and we had passed a rectangle as argument and we had passed it by reference and it was returning the area and then we were doing the computation so here instead of this uh, ampersand rectangle it's replaced by you see ampersand self and you can also pass ampersand mute self if you want to modify this uh, rectangle but here we are just returning the area we so we are just passing ampersand self or you can also pass self in this case you will take the ownership but it's not required here because this method just needs to read the data that is present in this rectangle so this is rarely used this you can use if you want to modify and here in this case it's ampersand self so the definition is similar to the earlier the function definition but here you see that it's wrapped inside an IMPL and this name is of this struct and then this curly braces so it can have more functions so fn area fn parameter fn print so this one IMPL block will contain different functions so you see that uh, we are organizing the code here so it's for organizing organization purpose and we are putting all the capabilities of rectangle whatever rectangle can do inside one IMPL block we could do the same thing with multiple functions scattered all over the place but it's a good way of organizing things so one IMPL block which denotes the capabilities of this rectangle all the functions inside this block so it's easier to uh, debug the code or even you revisit the code later it's better organized and now to call this uh, function you will just create a rectangle as usual there is no change here and here while calling you call the instance name instance followed by a dot dot as usual and then the method name so instead of function I am writing method here and the first parameter you see that here it was self but we are not passing it here because this instance is implicitly passed as the first argument if you have more arguments you can list it here and you need to pass those here but this self is implicitly passed so this is the way to call it so let's see it in the code so I have defined the rectangle here the struct and now let's define the IMPL block IMPL rectangle
and the rest code remains the same. So this will return the area. Now in the main, we will create a rect instance. Now we, we will print the area and let's run it. And you see that it has correctly computed the area that is 200 in this case. So here we are uh, applying the method syntax. And let's say we pass just a dummy value uh, i of u32 just to make sure that we can also pass additional parameters. And here we need to pass just this dummy value that is 5 and let's run it again. So you see that this i equal to 5 is printed from this method. So here it takes two arguments one is self and the second one is an u32. So here we are just passing this second value. We don't need to pass this because this rect one is implicitly treated as this self and this self dot width denotes rect one dot width. So in this case, uh, this is not required. So I will remove it. So that's how we call method syntax in uh, Rust. And uh, one thing to note is that we can uh, imp add multiple IMPL blocks for the same rect that we will see later. It's not mandatory to keep all the functions inside one IMPL blocks only. So see you in the next video.